so before we get started, I'm giving away three copies of Nuclear Volume 1, my new one-shot kit, to three commenters. See, I just leave a comment and I'll make sure to pick three after a little while. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout for a notification. Yo, what's good with you guys? So this video is sponsored by my boy Pride Infinite. He shot over his kit Gatekeep Sounds Volume 1. All the sounds he's been hiding from us all these months, man. Going crazy. He does YouTube as well. You've probably seen him before. He's on Billboard. Uh, he's produced for a lot of people, two of which being Tanashi and Sada Baby. Really, really solid credits there. It's all in the beard, man. You know what I'm saying? I gotta grow me one of those to compete. Real quick, I'm gonna break down a cell beat that I made with it. Definitely some 21 x Drake kind of vibes. So, uh, yeah. Of course, you've already heard the sample, but you want to find a main sound. A guitar, specifically live guitar, you can never go wrong with live guitar. But in this case, we used a piano. It's just some contact bank that Elkin put me onto. Has a really nice detune to it. SSS Vintage Upright Main. I'll make something similar, but it's just really a lot of seventh chords. So making these is super easy. I do have like a bunch of EQs and stuff on this too, by the way. Just a uh, compressor, I compress a crap out of it. That's really the secret to get that nice vintage wavy feel. Skip every other note. Let's just invert this. Let's move this D up all the way. Strum the chord a little bit. Copy that over. Move this back just a little because you want it to like kind of release before it hits again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add like a little cut there. Randomize, out R, D sharp because it's a little bit too high for me. Make it real sharp. Copy all that over. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and add like a little bit of triplets. Just copy that over. Copy all this over. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and you want to turn it down super low, by the way, because you want it to kind of be in the background. Otherwise, it can kind of get really annoying. After that, you want a string, and the string's really important. You can't have like some kind of bright, like dry violin sound. You have to have like an analog sounding string. Gatekeep Sounds Volume 1 has exactly that. He specializes in West Coast music, so he has all the pianos. You get a lab bank, effect rack bank, a MIDI vault, Omnisphere bank, a one shot vault, the go to sounds he uses, portal bank, RC20 bank, some textures, some mixer presets. So for the analog lab bank, I went and found that string. It's a Dark Days preset. It's a really nice analog filtered string. Even with the chord changes, you want to keep the string the same. Just leave it the same note. Next, you want to start filling it up with little accents. I also use Analog Lab for this. For this one, I use the distractions, and that sounds like this. Turn on the piano and string, and then just click this in wherever it sounds good. I opened up another instance of Analog Lab. That was a Callings, just the same bank. It did have a portal on it. I used the effect rack preset. Without it, it sounds like this. And then with it, it sounds like this. Automatically thickens up the sound. So now I want to filter it. And I use the background player. All of these are his presets right here. Really good for filtering vocals. So if you have some vocals you want to fit in a mix, like some vocal chops, use this. That's also in the gatekeep kit. Then I used a portal to kind of make it uh, disperse, I guess. I wanted it to really twinkle, the gatekeep portal expansion. Bro is wildin' for real. Arguably the most important part, you have to have a drum break. I mean, just find like a stock contact bank that just happened to use butch fig drums.
and the effects are where it really comes into play. The Gatekeep RC20 bank, and make sure it's the very, very first. We're gonna get to why later. Immediately after the RC20, all right? Put a compressor, any compressor. I just happen to use the Wolf compressor, but I like it because it has a lo-fi knob and you can really even make it more lo-fi. It makes it sound like super squished, like those Tyler the Creator tracks. Then I just threw on a sound shifter to destroy it and just mess it up even more. Now we're getting somewhere. Take out some of those lows and then uh, decrease even more of those highs because I didn't want too much fuzz. Throw on this bass right here. Let me just preview this one shot kit a little bit. This is the bass I use right here. Let me just play some of these other sounds real quick. So I found this bell. I wanted like a roll and I just used the Astro Bell from Gatekeep. Just use the effect rack, use a whole lot of movement, pretty parametric EQ. And then I use this guitar right here. I want it like a walk down, you know what I mean? Fetty effect rack preset. And then a portal, use the estate preset. Just wanted to add two things, same one shot kit, just like a little boop, copy that over, and then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, just like that, because that's what I did with the piano melody, so I want that to follow that. And then you can also hear that flute accent I found. That is actually from the Omnisphere Bank. As you can see, not only does he give you the Omnisphere Bank, but for those who don't have Omnisphere, he literally has all the one-shot versions right here for you. So uh, yeah, before I play that again, because I know you've heard it a million times by now, I'm just going to go with these vocals that I just threw on to really seal the deal. Main sounds, vocal phrase, melodic sounds, multi-kit. What I did was I cut it right here and I just moved this back, moved it over, pitch it down, five. second half of the sample all I really did was I just pitched the piano down and I just added these triplets like I demonstrated earlier and then I added this little pad thing right here also from Gatekeep I just pitched up but pitched down it sounds like this so uh, yeah let's uh, throw some drums on but right before we do so I do want to show you all the MIDI side of this kit So a lot of stuff like this has that West Coast soul sample kind of vibes. I'm definitely using that one later, but on to the beat. Yeah, so I just dragged the sample in and I pitch it down one semitone.
my camera just died and all my five batteries are somehow dead as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna make this really quick. Just keep the drums dead simple. Honestly, the end goal for this is to have somebody actually use it. Really full already. So this is a Bunda 808. It's from Infinite's go-to kit. It's just an 808 with the attack turned up. And you can do that by just turning this up yourself. Then I made this clap right here. I combined three different claps. I wanted it to be a very thick clap to go with a really unique 808. I just combined three snares. Some from Sound Source Volume 3, and then a really snappy one to really take the lead from Infinite's go to. Throw in a kick. I use a kick sparingly because I wanted to leave room for like the bare 808 to shine. Throw on a hi-hat. One thing I've been doing lately is leaving a space right here at the very beginning of every other bar, and then a few tasteful spaces in between. Added another hat to layer the hi-hat rolls, just to kind of make it more thick. I did actually add a half time to that. Turn the mix down to 80%. And then an effect tricks with one little bitty reverse right here. Added a snare right here. Make sure to find sounds that actually complement each other. This is a really sharp, really short snare. And you'll see right here, I just play with the velocities. Then I added this open hat. It's my favorite open hat. It's from HL Culture, the trilogy. And then this little Nexus perk. And then at the very end, I just added this one little snare from uh, Infinite's go-to kit as well. Beat filter, I just automated an EQ. Master channel, putting an EQ on it, change it to this shape right here, move it all the way back, create automation clip, and it allows you to like automate this right here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the entire beat right there. Intro right here, hook right here, instant drop, two bars for the verse, 16 bar hook, or I guess you could say pre hook, hook. I just call this all the hook. Verse one, pre hook, hook, verse two, another pre hook thing, hook, outro. I like to have three hooks right here that are all each 16, two verses that are each 16. If you guys got something for this video, please let me know in the comments. I have a discount code for that kit for gatekeep sounds volume one in the description as well so that you can make sure to get your money's worth and like i said earlier comment down below to win a free copy of nuclear volume one so uh, yeah till next time